So what's up everyone? Welcome to Drawing a Recurring Capital City. My name is Julian Dunn and in this video, the next capital city I'm about to draw is going to be Toronto, Ontario. This is a really, really, really big one. It's one of the biggest North American cities out there. My favorite Canadian city and I actually drew Toronto, Canada before uh, from January 1st. 2016 all the way to February 11th of 2018. Two years I would spend time working on that drawing. I plan on expanding it too, making it bigger. I even did a YouTube video on this drawing uh, and that YouTube video is really bad. Just cringe. It's really cringy. And in, this is in my original channel, Jules Nerdy, which I can't really upload anything anymore because I've been mentioning this before. I blocked myself out of my old account that goes to that old channel. And also, we're going to skip the Canada's capital. We're going to skip the national capital or, or the capital of Canada. I will save it for last, though. Regardless, without any further ado, let's go ahead and get to work. Toronto is also the most populated city in the Canadian province of Ontario and in Canada. The city is part of the top five most populated North American cities and it's located on Lake Ontario. During the 1660s, one of the native people, the Iroquois, founded two villages before Toronto existed. Later on, the Mississauga took over the area after the Beaver Wars. In 1750, Fort Rioli got founded by the French, but got left behind nearly a decade later during the Seven Years' War. When the French took the big fat L from the British, the area became part of the province of Quebec in 1763, and this was a British colony too. The United Empire Loyalists came to the colony in the Lake Ontario area during the American Revolutionary War. They were given land after taking L's into 13 colonies. The province of Quebec would split into Lower and Upper Canada, and Upper Canada needed a capital. The British obtained land from the Mississauga and the Toronto Purchase. In 1793, the town of York was born thanks to John Graves Simcoe on the Toronto Purchase lands. The town got named after Prince Frederick, Duke of York and Albany. The Upper Canada capital got relocated from Newark to York and it's believed to be harder for Americans to attack. The town of York was part of the War of 1812 and 1813 in the Battle of York. Americans took the W and destroyed some crap. Slavery was banned in the British Empire, in British colonies, and before Canada existed. However, slavery was still going on in the US. York changed to Toronto in 1834. Toronto's first mayor, William Lyon Mackenzie, made a plan that backfired in 1837, and this was the Upper Canada Rebellion. The city was growing and it was the capital of the province of Canada twice. Other Canadian cities would be the capital too for a few years. The Canadian Confederation went into effect in 1867, and Toronto became the capital of Ontario, the newly established province. The city was establishing and building things and used to have the largest whiskey factory in the world. Railway systems and streetcar systems were also included. The city went through the Great Toronto Fire of 1904 and had more company. Various immigrants came. Since the 1950s, Metro Toronto came into existence. And this consisted of the city of Toronto and other municipalities surrounding the city forming together. The 1950s was an unlucky decade for Toronto because, well, <laughs> Hurricane Hazel struck the crap out of it. During the late 1960s, the seven smallest municipalities merged with the larger ones. And as a result, there's six municipalities, the former city of Toronto, York, North York, East York, Etobicoke, and Scoreborough. Toronto kept growing and growing and growing. Post-World War II immigrants showed up and suburbanization was taking place. 
When the 1980s came, Toronto overtook Montreal as Canada's most populated city. The very beginning of 1998 was a very special time because Metro Toronto was no more. The six municipalities eventually merged into one gigantic city of Toronto. Mel Gibson, just kidding, I'm kidding. Mel Lastman became the first megacity mayor of Toronto, and Toronto's considered to be one of the megacities in the world. Toronto might have got its name from this Mohawk word, which is a channel between two lakes, Simcoe and Kauchiching. The city is nicknamed Center of the Universe, T.O., the city that works, Hogtown, and the Six. I think I came up with a new nickname for Toronto, and that is the New York City of Canada. Isn't that a cool nickname? No! No! The motto of Toronto is diversity, our strength. Toronto, ha Toronto is home to a freak ton of popular places. The city is tremendously ginormous. It has so many, like a large amount of popular places. So let's go ahead and begin and brace yourself. I did mention uh, a lot of these popular places. But regardless, let's go ahead and begin. We get the Toronto Stock Exchange, Royal Alexandra Theater, Art Gallery of Ontario, Toronto Zoo, Hockey Hall of Fame, St. Lawrence Market, University of Toronto, Toronto Public Library, Union Station, Toronto General Hospital, Royal Ontario Museum, Casaloma, High Park, Young Dundas Square, Nathan Phillips Square, the Coca-Cola Coliseum, which used to be called the Rico Coliseum, it's home of the Toronto Marlies, the ML Field, home of the Toronto FC and the Toronto Argonauts, Scotiabank Arena, it used to be called the Air Canada Centre, home of the Toronto Raptors and the Toronto Maple Leafs, the Rogers Centre, which used to be called the Sky Dome, home of the Toronto Blue Jays, First Canadian Place, CN Tower, Toronto City Hall, and last but not least, I'm going to throw in the Ontario Legislative Building. Toronto is the birthplace of these famous people now. There's a lot of famous people that I'm familiar with that were born in this city, so let's go ahead and begin. We got musicians Drake and The Weeknd, basketball star Rick Fox, internet personalities King Bach, Azzyland, Faze Rain, Furious Pete, Lily Singh, Venos Gaming, and Troyden, TV personalities Howie Mandel, Renee Young and Aisha Curry. Actors Corey Hyam, RIP to this guy, Devon Bostick, Mike Myers, Tara Strong, Robbie Amell, Will Arnett, Stephen Amell, Sarah Polly, Christopher Plummer, RIP to this guy as well, and Harlan Williams. One of the famous people that I mentioned 
in the previous Canadian Capital drawing video, Peter Skeen Ogden, I said his first name wrong. I said Patrick instead of Peter. And I told I told you guys I'm not good with names. And I'm just so good at not paying attention to what I'm saying. So yeah, I love my brain so much. And when I was working on the drawing of Toronto, Canada, I didn't really feel that much pain. Maybe just only the uh, my lower neck area. I was feeling minor pains. I don't really remember because my mind would go through a lot when I make these videos for a living. And I don't remember if I had to uh, stand up. I think I did the drawing in one sitting. I don't remember if I actually did the, uh, did this drawing in one sitting. And this drawing was mostly a cakewalk. And come, unlike the previous drawing of a Canadian city that I had to do, that took four to five hours. I'm not gonna forget about that. But this drawing of Toronto took nearly two hours. Two hours of wasting time doing work. Uh, doing another drawing. I think it has to do with the far distance of the skyline that made it easy and quicker for me to get past. finished capital city drawing of Toronto, Ontario. Like no one cares. Had so much fun doing this. This drawing really wasn't that bad. It, I would say it took nearly two hours for me to do. Like the glass, it feels really good to draw uh, my favorite Canadian city. It feels really good to draw this city again, but this time a smaller version. 9 by 12 paper. Here we got Lake Ontario. Familiar with a few skyscrapers actually. The CN Tower. Here we got the Rogers Center, first Canadian place, uh, right here in the background. I didn't really get a chance to draw everything from the picture I was using. This drawing is still pretty. Nope. Ravishing. That's a strong word right there. I'm really in love with this city. Toronto, Ontario, everyone. So that is going to be the end of this video. Stay tuned for more content, and I hope this video was quite enjoyable to watch. Thank you very much for watching. I appreciate your time. Feel free to subscribe to this channel. Feel free to follow me on Twitter and Instagram. I love to connect with you people. And also, feel free to follow my Facebook page. So, I will catch each and every one of you guys later.